r slash ask reddit, if you were filthy rich, what would you still refuse to buy? Mulan on Disney Plus, edit, Ro, thanks for the gold and all the other reddit gifts, I woke up to over 20.000 comment upvotes, what a great start to the day, thank you. Especially not considering how Disney literally thanked an organization actively participating in genocide in it. Paying the £2 fee to take my money out of the cash machine. My bank reimburses mine, and they pay me more interest than my last bank. Should have swapped sooner. I made an extra $1000 last year I wouldn't have with my other bank. Reddit gold. I was given it once. Didn't even notice a difference at it. Guys this isn't some begging for gold shit. Stop giving it to me. For real. Save it for people who actually want it. Did you notice a difference this time? Damn dude get a refund. I probably wouldn't buy heroin. A human being or copyrighted movies. LOL you probably wouldn't buy a human being. What if you buy one and set it free? A shower. Then I'd just be rich. And that's no fun. Made me laugh. Thank you. A house with a ridiculous whole monthly fee. Edit. To those trying to correct me, I don't care about the existence of a hoa. I care about how much it costs. But damn after reading what a lot of you have been through, maybe I should care. My husband and I have built our house in a community that has a hoa. But it's only $40 a month and they leave us alone. What prompted my comment is that the community next to us charges $350 a month and comes with pools, a rec center, parks and even a small lake. But that still wouldn't make me want to pay that much on top of my mortgage. And thanks for the awards. My very first. Tiny burritos. There's no excuse for making a tiny burrito. But what if you couldn't decide which burrito you wanted? You could buy a flight of tiny artisanal burritos. Protection plan on video games electronics. Edit. Wow came back after a full day and a huge amount of upvotes and an award. Thank you. Also I know previously with Walmart issued protection plans. They're actually through a different company so even if your electronic does break you can take it back to the store. You have to call. Mail in it. And then wait for them to receive it just to get your money back. The best way to buy an Xbox controller is on sale at Walmart. Then get the protection plan for 6 bucks. When you inevitably get some wicked stick drift in 9 months. Just go swap out your old controller for a new one for another 6 bucks. Volcano insurance. Almost as good as cloud insurance. Anyone who got pandemic insurance is looking pretty smart right now. A big house. Though I'd probably build a really luxurious small one. I never thought about a luxurious small house. That sounds really cool. Now I want one. Anything that supports a MLM scam. MLM is how I'd be filthy rich in the first place. S. YouTube Premium. I watch a lot of YouTube and was considering buying Premium. But I get the feeling that the recent ungodly ad spike is them trying to push premium and I don't want to let them think it's working. Edit. Thanks to everyone who suggested Vance. Just installed it and it's amazing. Honestly, I've had premium since it was first offered and it has been worth it. People will argue about what should be offered free but that's another argument. No ads. Downloading videos easily as a parent and educator. Access to tons of music. And being able to share it with a whole bunch of friends and family have made it an easy purchase. Plus, I remember a video where Aaron Hansen mentioned that creators get more revenue from premium viewers so the best course of support was from that. Win win I guess. A mansion. I never got why people would want to live in a huge building with 750 rooms. It's just not appealing to me. Big cool house with a big garden? Sure. But a mansion? Nap. Edit. I am pleasantly surprised that no one attacked me personally for my opinion. Just other opponents with great reasoning down here. Especially the younger folks who point out they would let their friends live there. That of course would be awesome. No doubt. But I am in an age group where none of my friends would want to live with me because they have their own families. But in my position, only me and my girl, I can't imagine spending 6 hours every day to find her phone. D. Thanks for the nice answers and have a great week. 3. Water in bottles. In my country the tap water is 100% safe to drink. So buying water in bottles would be a waste of money, time and resources. 
change my mind. Probably saw it here on reddit but, companies that sell water in plastic bottles don't produce water, they produce plastic bottles. Also, duck you, nestle, you mother duckers are stealing from my state. Expensive cat toys, my cat will continue to play with my phone charger. My ferret loves those Amazon bags. Every time I buy something small from Amazon, I tell her that I bought her a new toy. I open it, take out what I bought, and she gets so excited to play with the bag. Microtransactions in video games. I oppose them on principle. If anything I'd pay to lobby the government into making them illegal. Nestle products. Duck Nestle. This should be higher. Duck Nestle. Tinder Gold. I mean really if you were that rich you could attend events where you're gonna meet far better suited to your lifestyle people than what you'll get on tinder anyway. A mansion. What in the duck am I going to do with 14 bedrooms? And can you imagine heating and cooling that beach? No thanks. I'd build a 3 bedroom Cape Cod and call it a day. Candy and snacks at movie theaters. I mean, I'd bring my own Kavadar and Crystal. Anything that the Kardashians push. That Epstein killed himself. EA Games. If you buy the entire company though, you might be able to make it less shit. A yacht. Being rich doesn't mean my seasickness goes away with a snap of the fingers. Full price Pringles. Sex. You will never see me booking a cruise no matter how much money I have. There are endless other places I'd rather spend my vacations. If you were filthy rich you won't need to go on a cruise. Just buy a yacht or take a private jet lol. Diamond encrusted anything. I don't like glittery things and it just looks uncomfortable and heavy. Heroin easiest way to stop being filthy rich and become lifeless in the process. Anything from Walmart. I'd love to be so rich that I wouldn't have to step into a Walmart again. Duolingo plus. Antiques especially antique mirrors. I mean yeah. The value could appreciate greatly over time and yet, yeah, there's a slim chance that it might be enchanted but it's just not worth the gamble on the 0.01% chance that it's haunted. I'd pay extra for the haunting. Edit. Thanks for the hug award. Internet hugs are awfully similar to ghost hugs. Stadium foods like $10 bags of popcorn. It's just the principle. Honestly, a lot of things. I once did the thought experiment, and I realized that if I have a home that I own, and a car and such, I'd struggle to genuinely spend 70,000 pounds a year. Honestly, I might struggle to spend 50k, even if I bought the most expensive normal things I'd need. Could I spend 5 million a year? abso freaking lootly I could, but not without going silly on things, you know. Buying a 250k supercar instead of a normal car, and artificially going I want to spend this money, like, I wouldn't be changing my diet or my choice in clothes, they are purely functional, it makes no difference to me if my shirt cost £12 or £1200, well, not strictly true, if I was wearing a £1200 shirt, I'd be going what the hell was I thinking? Spending £1,200 on a shirt, at myself in my head almost constantly, I'd spend more on my hobbies, and probably travel a bit more, but not dramatically more, though I would go at least business class everywhere, because god it's so much more comfortable, I guess I'm just not that materialistic, I'd rather have board game night every week with my friends than have designer clothes or anything like that, one exception, maybe a nice big private island to hide from the humans on. Winra. You are a bad person. Honestly, reading through this comment section has given me an idea for museum of tasteless garbage. Dedicated to items and trends humanity is too embarrassed to even remember. Bags for bathroom trash cans. That's what plastic grocery bags are for. Even in CA, where we're not supposed to have plastic grocery bags, they have made a comeback during COVID. I love gemstones. But I would not buy diamonds even if they were affordable to me. A real green dress. That's cruel. Torn clothes for extra money in the name of fashion. Any cable or power strip surge protector from Best Buy. Meat from the dollar store. Whoa, you made it to the end? 
you're a ducking beast. I'll cut you a deal. Smash like and subscribe for more curated content bruh. It's free and that's a great price. Bruh.